Hey guys, Urban Garner, the Happy Cultivator here, and I'm coming to you with another unboxing. What I have here is the Tiswall Soldering Station, the RJ969. You guys know as RC Hobbyist, we all have that occasion where a wire may come loose or we might get a new motor where we need to solder some wires onto it. We may have a battery that needs a little bit of soldering to put a new plug on it. As you guys know, you will at some point need a good soldering iron. I've been working for many years now with a Radio Shack that I needed to replace for a long time. I figured now if I'm gonna get myself a new soldering iron, what better than to get myself a nice temperature controlled soldering station. So that's what I did was I got this Tillswall soldering station. It is 120 volts, 60 hertz, 65 watt, output voltage, 26 volts, alternating current. The temperature range on this model is 392 degrees Fahrenheit through 896 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the main reasons I wanted temperature control was when I'm doing that really fine soldering in which I have a very small wire or I may be doing something onto a circuit board. As you guys know, I do drive some micro RCs like the 35th scale, the 24th scales, and the 18th scales. And some of those do have some wires that come loose and a lot of the wires on those small motors, you know, you can't put too much heat on them or they don't solder quite right. And so it is good to have a temperature control. Well, let's get to it, guys. Let's go ahead and open this box up and see how this is all boxed up. Real simple packaging, no factory seal on it. So we'll open it up, and when we get inside, we have a warranty card. There is the user manual. There's three little boxes inside. So we'll pull this out. I think this is the actual power station. Okay, so we'll open that up. And you will see that, yes, that is what that is. So we'll go ahead and take this styrofoam out here and we'll show you that that's the way that's boxed in we'll go ahead and pull it out and show you really quick and there you have your power to your soldering station here is your power station you have where the soldering iron plugs into on front there you have your temperature dial. Then you have your on off switch. We turn it all around. And on the back here, you will see where you have your plug. And it's a typical three prong plug like you would have on a computer, video games, televisions. Okay, now we have this box. So we'll pull this box out here and it says right on it that it is the soldering iron brackets and steel ball. There you have that box nice and open. So we'll take out the contents here and you will see that that is your little docking station there for the soldering iron. And it does come with some Brillo. Right, the next thing we have here is the actual soldering iron. 
and soldering wire and soldering tips. Okay, so here we go. Let's pull this out here. Okay, so there is your actual iron. Set that aside. And we should have some tips and things in here. There is some soldering wire and your tips. Nice. Just like the box said. Okay. And the last box within a box is your power cord. I've got it open. There's your cord. Take that out of there. All right, and there you go. Typical power cord. Nothing special. Nothing left in there. So that's all of it. So that's what to expect in your box when it arrives when you buy a Tills Wall soldering station model RJ969. And I did purchase this off of Amazon and I will put the link down in the description. If you like what you see, be sure to like, share, comment. Like I always say, out here in the urban garden is keep happy, stay stoned, and urban garden, guys.